morning and welcome to tonight's presentation of Noche La NBA, an annual tradition in the NBA celebrating diversity and culture and always a pleasure to bring it to you. This is Kevin Harlan and beside me, Greg Anthony and Steve Smith. David Aldridge joins us on the sidelines. DA, it's all yours. Thank you very much. Guys, as always, the Heat have some scrappers on their team. Kyle Lowry says, nobody's like, I have to do this or it has to be this certain way. Jobs can be switched. Positions can be flipped. No matter what, just... Yeah, they're smart enough to do that, and it's all about the results as always. Thank you, D.A. Here we are, opening night, and these players, Steve, are just about as excited as the fans. You love it, Kevin. Preseason is over. Game one, it starts the real season. And yes, you want to get off to a great start. Looking at the starting five for the Atlanta Hawks. They've got Steven Adams. Gallinari is out there with Bogdanovich. Then go. it's Anthony, and it's Melton in at the two guard. And for Miami, they've got Lowry. Malcolm Brogdon out there with Alpern Shangoon. Then there's Devin Vassell. Now here's Brogdon. Now the pass to Shangoon. And DeAnthony Melton picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. And that's a quick foul first for him there. Looks foul. like the refs are going to call this one pretty close. Here's Lowry. Outside to Brogdon. Just five on the clock. The shot's good on the assist by Lowry. Brogdon's got the first basket of the game for the Heat. Smart playmaking by Kyle. Moving the ball to a guy with a good look. Gallinari. It's deflected. And Brogdon with a clear path to the rack. Double clutches. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. The Heat shooting their first free throws of the game right now. And last season, when they got themselves to the line, they usually came through as a team up around 81%. We've seen them put a lot of pressure on the defense and then cash in at the line. Now here's Anthony. Back to Adams. And Adams with the slam. This is where you want Adams to have the ball. Can't get a higher percentage look than that. About a minute played so far here in the first. And as I watch Cole out there, Kevin, I just love the progression he's made. The young man's put the work in to improve his game and really only starting to scratch the surface. Plays it up off the glass. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Wow, that's a defensive breakdown. Can't do that against good scores. Now, here's Melton. And so it looks like the Hawks are returning possession here. First 130 gone here in the first quarter. Golinari with a screen for Bogdanovich. And there's the three-second call, this one on the defense. And he's got his first chance at the line here. And, and over the course of last year, he was up over 90%. And with a stroke like that, you see why. And the free throw, no good. But they'll get the ball back here. And this is where you want to see Gallinari, if you're the coach. A knockdown shooter at the free throw line. Elton finds Gallinari. Well-timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. For Cole Anthony, GA, this team believes in his future. I mean, he's a competitive kid and, and knows how to play the right way. And, and now he understands how to play winning basketball. And that's no bias from me. That's just my analysis. It's hauled in by Adams. Hawks have gone two for four from the field so far today. It's Bogdanovich on the wing. Off target from three-point range. And it's Miami's ball. It's a three-point game. Lowry against Anthony. Pass to Shengun. Over Gallinari. Outside for Lowry. For three. Gallinari with the rebound. A slow start for Atlanta in this one. The Heat beat them last time when these two teams met down in South Florida. Very tough loss than last time they played. I mean, in the end, the amount of trips to the line they gave up did them in. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on it. Kicks it out to Bogdanovich. Passes it to going up. Back to Bogdanovich. That's tipped. And here's the fast break. 
Here's Vassell. A shot that time, not on target. So the Hawks will take it the other way. You know, Smitty, what's incredible about Miami's D, they don't need to block a ton of shots to protect the rim. Kevin, it's all about awareness, communication, and positioning. Whether they're in zone or man, they stay completely connected almost every possession. Melton, no good. And they had some boxed coverage that turned into no coverage. Cast to Vassell. Again, the miss by the Heat. And so it's Bogdanovich who brings up the ball for Atlanta. They trail by three. And now the first time out call here for the Hawks. Both teams making some changes here. And we see Heat legend Dwayne Wade enjoying the proceeding. Yeah, I mean, he helped create this winning culture in Miami. A tremendous two-way player in his day. And still holds the record for most blocks ever by a player 6'4 or shorter. And they get it back. Boucher finds Johnson. Six on the shot clock. Here's Rivers. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. The Hawks have gone 0 for 1 at the line. This is their second trip to the line tonight. And they shot 81% from the line last season as a team. So you really can't find fault with what they're able to do there. The hustle, the energy. It's why Olenek is out here. Great work. Sexton deciding where to go with it. Over Olenek. The shot by Sexton, no good. The Hawks trail it. Boucher passes to Rivers. And stolen by Sexton. Here's Matherin. Knocked away. Can they get it? And that's two points on the way. Salvage the possession. He's a terrific offensive rebounder. The Hawks trail by three. Johnson kicks to win it. Back to Johnson, to the right side. And Bull wide open. He shoots. It's good. This game is all even. And you can't forget about Bull's range. After all, big men like him are expected to take the three in today's game. There's the pass to Ivan. To the middle. The rim rattling two-handed jam. Unselfish. Moving the ball. Love to see this kind of offense. A three from Bogdanovich. So at the end of one quarter of play, still a close game. Heat lead by two. 2K Sports back in a moment here at FTX Arena. And as we return, it's Noche Latina celebrating the NBA's connection to the Latin American community. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from the Heat? Throughout that first, they just were aggressive on the defensive end, showing active hands. And they took advantage of some careless ball handling, some careless passing. You have to be more careful around these guys. We've got Bogdanovich, Evan Bissell out there with Sexton. Then there's Malcolm Brogdon, and it's Shingun in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. That's the group on the floor for Miami. You look at the current stars in the league, Steve, and team compositions, it seems like the big man is truly back. Is it because he can do more things than just play down low? Definitely, Kevin. They can dominate with their sides, with rebounding, <laughs> men in the paint offensively and defensively. But then now you have guys that can get out, start the break, finish the break, and knock down threes. And he's the glue that holds this team together. Brogdon's 
calm demeanor and lead by example approach is so valuable to this squad. Now here's Rivers. Olenek a screen on Sexton. Here's Bull. Off target from outside. He leading by three. In the corner it's Brogdon. That ball. Nice feed that time from Bogdanovich. Brogdon's got ten points. And his teammates appreciate the unselfishness. Bogdanovich willing to get it to his open guys. Bull the pass to Olenek. This one for three. Doesn't go for him. And it's Miami the other way. For Malcolm Brockton, he comes from a family, Greg, where education comes first. And well, Malcolm earned his degree plus a master's while in college. His dad and brother, lawyers, his mom involved in higher education. Brockton may be the smartest guy in the NBA. Well, he started out as a pure shooter. Bondanovich has worked hard to become a threat off the bounce and a strong finisher. Kyle Lowry, he's checked in for the Heat. Now, here's Boucher. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. Don't be fooled by his slender frame. Boucher is more than capable of taking contact and finishing inside. Pass to Bogdanovich. A three ball. Knocks down the three ball. Bogdanovich has got the lead up to seven now for the Heat. And after that ragged first quarter, they're getting some momentum, some confidence. Nice flush. And stolen by Kyle Lowry. Down low. Here's Shengu. He takes advantage of them in every way possible. And Greg, he lures them into a trap on the steal. And then, bang, straight to the button. Great activity at both ends. Great teamwork as well. That's just too easy for Ball. Once he gets the right position, his focus there is on the finish. Passes to Shengu. Lowry with the ball. Rogged in the pass to Shengu. And they immediately answer back with the dunk at the other end. A primary responsibility of Brogdon's. When someone is open on his squad, he gets it to him. And didn't do anything fancy there, but didn't need to. Nope. He, his only concern right now is getting the points on the board. And I, I don't mean style points. Here's Brogdon following the bucket by the Hawks. Lowry from outside. He's off on that one. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Thanks very much. Now, Malcolm Brogdon said in pre-draft interviews, teams would ask him, you went to college for four years and got your master's in your fifth year. Are you sure you want to be an NBA player? It seems as if you're black, you can't be both educated and a sportsman. But it's not disheartening. It's a chance for me to break the mold. Kevin? Thanks, D.A. Now here's Rivers after Malcolm Brogdon's miss. And he goes in for the dunk. And talk about putting some extra on it. That dunk was way over the top. Close game or not, he's going to finish firm when he gets the space. Several teams changing it up here. Let's see some numbers here on Kyle Lowry. A very nice season for him last year. Last season, he averaged 13 points a game, seven assists and four rebounds. And he has been passing the ball like a virtuoso. That's what really stands out about these recent performances. You know, mentally, he's a pass-first type of player. It gets everyone involved and engaged, and that really sparks this offense. So it's the Hawks now. The Heat getting the button. Kick out to Adams. Four on the clock. And here's Anthony for three. That will not get it done. He's 0 for 2. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Heat. They came out firing from deep. It's always good for a team's confidence when you can start a game that hot. And it seems they've also put an emphasis on moving the ball, working to rotate around the defense and find those quality looks. And Miami making a change here. Sexton's checked in. Offensive rebound. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Six points for him. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-open. Elton kicks to Anthony. Golinari a screen on Sexton. 
And here's Bogdanovich for three. Miami grabs the miss. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Six second difference between shot and game. Four. Takes it from 10. The shot by Sexton, no good. And so it's Bogdanovich who brings up the ball for the Hawks. Eight point game. Oh, that's a major league throwdown. Keeps a tight grip on that rim, too, after the finish. Sexton attacking. No good that time. And it's out of bounds. They say last touch by Adams. And so that brings the first half to a close. Miami ahead, up by six. It's time now to go courtside. All right, Dave, thank you. And time now for the halftime break in the third quarter soon to follow. Right here. Hey, and what I like, he's not forcing it. Getting his shots in the flow and scoring with ease. See, that's the difference between getting buckets and getting wins. He's making... And now let's take a moment. The fans hitting us up on social media. This is from Chris SB17. I like this one. Who has the best uniforms in the NBA? I'm about to go with the Miami Heat. Ooh. Ah, I think I like the um, ooh the MLK version of the Atlanta Hawks ones are nice. Those black and gold. I like those. I like those black uh, Celtic jerseys. Ooh, the black Celtics are nice. Yeah. Yes. And that's a halftime. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. Really an incredible game from Bowl Bowl. Yeah, it's been a great performance from him. Really staying focused on quality shots. And many of those quality shots have been jumpers. A very high percentage of those in the first half. Checking out the group for Quinn Snyder to start the second half. We've got Bogdan Bogdanovich. Adams is out there with Gallinari. Then it's DeAnthony Melton. And it's Anthony in at the one spot. And to see your son Greg find success in the NBA, I can only imagine that's going to be so special for him. It is. I'm a proud papa because something that so few get to experience. So I couldn't be more proud of him and happy as well. There is the value of great rim protection without fouling, forcing the miss. Bogdanovich against Brogdon. And Adams sends it back. Look at Adams using all of his impressive reach. Firmly swatting that shot away. Bogdanovich, no luck. No heat, leading by four. And with a little over a minute gone, the second half is underway. Good D by Bogdanovich. On the wing, Melton. Back to Bogdanovich. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Kyle Lowry picks one up there. Intelligent play by Bogdanovich. Gets the defender off balance with the pump fake and wins a foul. Good on the second free throw. Starting at the age of 18, Bogdan spent the first seven seasons of his career playing internationally for teams in Serbia and Turkey. Here's Shengu. And he uses the glass on the lane. Shingun's got six. Finally getting one to fall. They were 0 for 3 to start this half. Anthony, the pass to Bogdanovich, kept alive. Anthony on the wing. A second chance effort. Shingun with the rebound. Shingun's got his fourth rebound in this one. And with Bogdanovich spinning, he was drafted back in 2014, but didn't come to the NBA until the 2017-18 campaign. The reason why, Greg, he was too busy winning internationally seven league titles, not to mention countless individual honors. Outside Anthony. Hawks passing it around. And Adams gets to Melton. Shot clock at five. The Hawks need to get off a shot here. Adams. Chengun with the rebound. The Heat leading by seven. 
Now Brogdon. Ten points for him. And he by Bogdanovich. And for his offense, this has just been a brutal period. Adams with the screen on Lowry. Out to Gallinari. From downtown. The shot misses. Well, he'd go the other way with it. They've got the Pistons ahead of them in their next game in Detroit. That'll be just one game played away from home for them. Miami no good on that time either. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going in this quarter. Gets it to go. That one good for Melton. Gallinari, very unselfish, draws a lot of defensive attention, which often leads to open teammates. And the Heat call time here. And the Hawks have a completely new group on the floor. A little under two and a half minutes off the clock now here in the third. Now, here's Ivy. Next it on the wing. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Sexton's got his first two points. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Rivers with him. Now guarded by Bogdanovich. And the foul called on Boyan Bogdanovich. That is his first foul of the game. Johnson, the pass to Bowl. Olenek in the corner. Bowl dishes to Rivers. Shot clock at six. Olenek has the open look. And, and nothing's been easy for them, especially in this half. 43 seconds left in the third quarter. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that. There shouldn't be much debate there. For Miami, they have had seven opportunities at the free throw line and made good on five of them. That one is no good. They play the clock right, then go two for one. Just got to time it up right. Pass to Bull. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Yeah, Bowl with the unique combination of height and skill. That's a challenge for any defender. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. Here's Ivy. Buries it down low. Ivy's got his second bucket of the night. This is why you're trying to get him as many touches as possible. He's got the deck. Rivers finds Olenek. Back to Rivers. Olenek, a screen on Bogdanovich. Olenek the pass to Bull. And the layup's good off the glass. Bull's got 14 points. And with an excellent understanding of the game, Olenek is able to find open teammates. And so it's Miami with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. They're pounding the ball inside, and that's where they've gotten their best production tonight. And a chance right now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court dish. Yeah, you also have the location of the pass. Puts it right where it needs to be, where his man can do something with it. Three tenths quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we begin the fourth. Bogdanovich out there with Alperin Shangun. Then there's Sexton. Then there's Devin Vassell. And it's Matherin in at the three, the small four. That's the group on the four for Miami. Olenek can't hit. Nobody even close to him, and he can't believe he doesn't knock it down. The open look here for Sexton. Sexton can't get that one to drop. Having a shaky time from the floor, but his teammates have been picking up the slack. Johnson, a wide open look. It's three pointers off the mark. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. And stolen by Bull. Johnson left side. Bucket is good. And at 7-2, Bull has incredible vision, including noticing when his teammates are open. 
Sexton the pass to Matherin. And here is Vassell. And the pass to Bogdanovich. Sinks the three-pointer. Bogdanovich has got the lead up to nine now for the Heat. One of the main weapons Bogdanovich brings. A dead-eyed three-point shooter with impressive range. Johnson surveying the floor. Ball kicks to Boucher. For three, Olenek gets hauled in by the Heat. Sexton with it. Hooked up by Rivers. Here's Vassell. The basket good off the assist from Sexton. And it's a 12-point Heat lead. A lot of Vassell's buckets come off assists. He's very comfortable on catch-and-shoot situations. And now a moment to present the New Balance player of the game. And in terms of his shooting, this has been one of the more accurate performances you'll ever see. I mean, he's been in constant motion, creating a lot of good looks for himself. But, but still, even when you're wide open, you expect to miss some of the time. And that has not been the case here tonight. This guy has made everything. He's played up to his full potential tonight, and he's been playing to the crowd, too. He loves being the star attraction, even if it doesn't happen on a regular basis. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Hey, Kevin. Well, during the last break, I heard Quinn Snyder talking with his team. He said to them, guys, coming up, this is where the game could be won or lost. We need to make plays on both ends. Stay focused, stay locked in, trust one another. We'll see if they can keep that trust going, Kevin. Thank you, David. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. Bowl. He's checked in for Adams. The Hawks trail by 12. Anthony dishes the bowl. Count that one as his seventh bank in eight attempts. A scorching 88%. Yeah, inside, Bolt does a great job just making subtle adjustments and utilizing that length. Brogdon with it. Now guarded by Bogdanovich. Shangun kicks to Brogdon. No good that time. And Atlanta will go the other way with it. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Anthony on the way. Now recovering. Here's Bull. And it's Miami with the rebound. Lowry with the ball. Pass to Vassell. Outside for Lowry. Again, the miss by the Heat. So it's Bogdanovich who brings up the ball for the Hawks. Trailing by 10. Anthony, the pass to Bowl. And with that one, the lead is trimmed to single digits. And guys, this is kind of Bowl's role. He's out there to score, and he does it in a variety of ways. Shangun finds Vassell. There's the pick. Puts it up from 12. Goes back up, and he sinks the layup. And the Heat lead by 10. And you know they feel good giving their fans a show here while taking care of business. They're going to win by a nice margin. The effort was there all night. Twenty-four seconds left in the fourth quarter. Offensive rebound. Shingun. Here's Lowry, and it's denied. And that massive wingspan coming into play there. Ball uses it to perfection to block shots. High percentage look. This is what your offense is designed to do. Here's Brogdon. And so it's Miami winning this one. Some good competition with the hometown advantage. And thank you, David. Great interview once again. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Greg Anthony.